Emily Sovillard Howe, I'm a lieutenant in the NOAA Corps, and the captain of the NOAA research vessel Gloria Michelle. And we're docked up here in Oak Bluffs to do some school tours for the Oak Bluffs Elementary School and uh, also an open house for the Harbor Festival. So I'll take you on a quick tour around. She's a 72 foot long, nine and a half foot draft boat. Uh, she's a Western rig stern trawler. Here is some of our fishing equipment. Uh, we've got the 60-year-old trawl winch. Uh, we, she's a hand-me-down trawl winch for us. Uh, she's for the third boat that she's been on, uh, and this runs both of the this runs the fishing gear. So from here, the wires go out and back to the fishing net. What we have uh, back here, we're doing scientific sampling. So on the back deck, what we'll do is we'll pick up uh, the net and the stern trawl and we actually bring it on board and rather than targeting a species we're looking for everything that's out there and you can see we don't have a fishing net on board right now but uh, they bring the catch on board they dump it into a table and then on the sampling tables here they actually process through they count every single fish we get and weigh it all look at everything and it all gets recorded into a set of uh, computers that are down below so we'll take you inside and show you our world so we get very cozy with each other. Uh, we sleep 10 people on board, and we fit them all into this cabin, uh, all into the small boat. The crew stateroom is being used as storage right now, but you can see the glamorous life of the captain. That's my, my one little rack there. And we fit four people into that tiny little room. So this is the galley. We'll fit uh, all of us in here. Again, communal dining. We eat pretty well on board, so. We've got lasagna and uh, garlic bread going today. It's our little tiny oven. This is the pilot house up here. Uh, this is uh, the heart of the boat. And this is where all we do all our navigation from. We do a fair amount of our fishing up here as well. So you can see we've got our, our chart plotters. And you get to see, we keep these charts very up to date and see where we're supposed to be going, where we've been. And uh, we're the smallest boat in the fleet and the biggest steering wheel. Uh, we sail full magnetic, so you can see the old magnetic compass. And uh, we got the, the um, iron on the side to try and reduce the influences of the boat itself. Steel boat likes to mess with the magnetic compass as much as possible. Uh, we've got a couple of different radars. This is both a chart plotter and a radar. So we have the overlay system. And then over on the side, we have a couple of depth sounders. Uh, as well and then also up here we have the scientific computer system and this is where we work so when we're fishing underway we have a chief scientist up here and he's handling he or she is handling the uh, the scientific side of things where are we going where are we supposed to go next and then they actually do audits up here make sure all the data is working correctly so that's that um, we'll take a quick walk through the middle uh, we do have, as I said, 10 people on board, so if you turn around and look there, that's uh, the one head that we all have to share. And behind that door is the shower, so 10 people for five days at a time, and we're all sharing that. So this is the old fish hold. Back it, when she was built to be a fishing vessel, this would have been where the cargo was. So it's all lined with concrete. It's about eight inches of concrete, and this is where the ice and the fish would have gone. Uh, when they converted her to being a research boat, they put berthing space down here. So we sleep six people down here. They also put in lab space and a septic system. So all of it's down here. Uh, we get very, uh, again, very friendly on board. We are currently under the back deck, so those sampling stations are right above us. Uh -oh. Excuse me. What's up? We're here. All right. End of our tour. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming on board, and we'll 